I begin my story down in Carolina in a little college. And all the student body only cared for football, never mind the knowledge. Never mind the sheepskin, they preferred the pigskin, seemed to have it in their bones. They knew all about it, couldn't live without it, all except certain Mr. Jamsey Jones. He plays the clarinet with all his might. He studied night and day. He practiced day and night. No running up the field for Mr. Jones. He'd rather run up the scale and down the scale. What tone? Even though his buddies always cut their studies to attend a rally. While they all were rooting, you could hear him tooting what's become of Sally. How they used to hate him, college wouldn't date him, thought he was an awful boy. But he liked his rhythm more than being with him, so he only grinned and went to practice some more. Meanwhile, the team marched on to greater fame, till they were asked to play the famous Rose Bowl game. And on that day of days, the students beamed. What did they do when the team marched on the field? They screamed, rah, 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 watch it go. Every trick up, but they couldn't win it. Instead of going forward, they were going backward about a mile a minute. Seeing their position, they called intermission. They heard the referee say, Listen here, 17 to nothing, ain't exactly nothing, and you've only got about a minute to play. Then from the stand, there came a distant scream, and it was Jamboree, a swinging, holding team. And then the students all began to yell. The players marched up the field and down the field. Pell mell, now on certain Carolina Hill. There stands the college as it always will. They have a hero they remember still. Jamory Jones, Jamory Jones. And if you visit in the Hall of Fame, you'll see his picture hanging in a frame. Cause he's the boy who won that game. Jamory Jones is the gentleman's name. Jamory Jones is the gentleman's name.